Felt pretty natural. Felt good. Uh, has a little, have a little more space there, left guard compared to center, but uh, it uh, feels pretty good. Rakim had a pretty good game, and it looks like he's going to play a lot with Deb Wild. Just, what, what do you think of his game, and what do you, what do you think he can do for you guys against the Aggies? Uh, he's a very patient back. Uh, he's very explosive in the hole. You know, many guys they get a little too anxious whenever they get the ball and they want to they want to advance it. Uh, it's it sucks having Dev Wild because he's been extremely consistent uh, in the past pro and in the run game the past couple of weeks. But we we have so many guys in the backfield that it's it uh, the level's not going to drop. You know, Boyd didn't get here till almost August. How have you seen him progress in camp and then the first few weeks of the season? How he progressed? Yeah, because yeah, he obviously had, had just good. You know, yeah, I think he came in a little bit out of shape, uh, but he's 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 up to top speed now. You know, he hit really high speeds on the catapult numbers here this last previous game. You know, he, he had some really good holes and he has really good vision. And it's like it, it, I'm excited about him. What about the same him series, Yelta? What do you think about? I mean, there's been so many tight games, and y'all want to get that breakthrough. Just excited, excited to get back out there, you know, down down to Jerry's world. You know, it's every every year, however people look at the teams and however much talent people think we have, it's always going to be an extremely good game. People, we fly around, everyone flies around and everyone brings their A game to this game and it, it's going to be a really good game. Has it just been frustrating because you guys have, I don't know if you've played in all these games, but there's been three overtime losses. So, you know, Arkansas has been right there, had some leads. Just how frustrating has it been? It's really frustrating, but you got to look. Bit, it's an awesome game. You know, I, I can I can walk off walking off the field. You know, it's it's a great game. We we came back and forth. You know, we had the lead last year. Uh, I think it was Christian Kirk came back with a with a, a kickoff return for a touchdown, and you know everything kind of changed. And we marched right back and scored. It's you know every both teams are going on all cylinders, man, and everyone's playing really good football. And it's just it's it's awesome to see. No one ties a starter now. How much does that help you guys just with consistency Consistency back there? You, you know, I think all the quarterbacks are pretty consistent. It's always good to have a certain guy. Uh, the same thing with the offensive line. You know, we're kind of we're kind of getting in the groove right now with five guys that we kind of want to set out there uh, as the number ones. Um, so it's, it's good to have some consistency uh, back there. But in the end, whoever's in there, you know, they're all – all the quarterbacks are doing a tremendous job at being a play caller. From a player's perspective, how much progress did you guys make last week offensively? Uh, I think we moved the ball pretty well. You know, Auburn, Auburn's defense ain't no slouches. It's a, it's some big dudes. You know, it's uh, it's the bread and butter of the SEC. You got some really big linemen with some really good linebackers and a good and a good secondary, and I think our guys executed pretty well. Uh, I think we gained a lot of yards, of course, but we couldn't really execute as well as we wanted to in the red zone. And, and on third downs, our third down uh, uh, efficiency was horrible. Uh, just That's just the stats of it. Um, but I think I'm, I'm proud of our guys. We did well, and we were moving in the right direction. 